Oh man, it's so hot in here. <sighs> Come on, boy. So, I did this using Substance Painter with this amazing material and smart mask to generate amazing texture. So with that, can we replace Substance Painter in Caponicus in Houdini 20.5? Let's see. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. You see, everyone did a great job with new Caponicus in Houdini 20.5, including Rohan or Antigma, etc. Amazing job, honestly. I highly suggest to you uh, to watch these videos. And I had a lot of questions when Caponicus it's come up. For instance, how can I use it? Turns out it's so simple to use. For example, we have this helmet with these amazing UVs and uh, name attribute for individual uh, pieces. So we have new COP network as you can see in this menu. And you can choose the resolution. And of course, before we dive in, we need a null to output uh, this object. Let me create one. Let's create null, for example, two COPs. And let's dive in. As you can see, this is our uh, workflow. And we have uh, amazing preview material. You see, we have this card or grid by default. So we can uh, import our SOP using SOP import. And we have this amazing representation. Another question I had, how can I import my texture to combine them? For example, let's create a file and we can import that view file and you see we have this texture and we're gonna uh, connect that to the base as you can see we have an error or warning so turns out in Copernicus we have different type yellow for RGBA green for RGB and blue for mono for example so we need to convert RGBA to RGB RGBA including the alpha of course and if you want to blend them, of course, you can create blend node and you can, for example, create constant for, for example, a white color. And for the mask, you can use a fractal noise. You see, simple, right? And you can uh, adjust the noise, simple. So how about custom attribute? I want to import my custom attribute. You see, for example, I create this mask paint using paint mask. And we have a mask attribute. For that, we can use geometry rasterize or rasterize geometry, as you can see. And we have our uh, geometry as 2D. And you see, that's with the mask. And of course, we can go with uh, rasterize uh, setup. And instead of word position, we can convert that to the UV position. And as you can see, we have our mask. Nice. So how we can assign texture to specific object? You see, it's so simple. For example, we have the name attribute in here. And as you can see, the name attribute is a string. We're gonna use ID future in Caponicus. ID needs integer data. So we're gonna convert our name string attribute to integer using this enumerate node. And amazing, honestly, guys. And you can uh, specify your attribute. ID and as you can see we have unique ID for each pieces nice and now uh, as usual we can uh, rasterize the geometry the setup geometry with UV uh, position and instead of uh, mask we're gonna uh, rasterize ID uh, attribute and as you can see we have this amazing ID to mask and you can uh, select uh, your uh, object to assign this blend to it for example, matter of fact, uh, I miss uh, some parameter here and we need to change that to this one. Yeah, now it's working probably. So that's awesome. So let me give you an amazing tips in Caponicus. You see, for example, if you have these two constant and filter that by ID, it, everything is working. So uh, if we replace that with our textures, you see, nothing happened why is that 
it was so headache to me believe me guys turns out the resolution is the problem you see we have square x except ratio here and we have this rectangle you see that so uh, we can convert that using another blend uh, node in here you see I create this node with this constant and voila as you can see our texture is turns out to the uh, square and we can do that for uh, another one and we can do this as you can see it's working believe me it will save you a lot of time if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content it's so hot in here believe me <laughs> So, I think this is too much to do every time I need to texture my geometry. Go to the cups, go to the subs, and rasterize geometry, go another attributes, blah, 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 etc. We need to automate that because this thing will kill the productivity, I believe. So, honestly, we've been to something in a couple of weeks. So, for that, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Paint X. This is amazing digital asset to simplify texturing in Keponicus. So, for example, we have this uh, Paint X digital asset in Keponicus. It's simple. It has two input, BG and FG mask. For the first time, you can uh, select your geometry, as you can see, and you can uh, have a texture and convert that, uh, sorry, connect that to the FG. And as you can see, we have our geometry and base color and specular etc so for visualizing that of course we need a preview uh, material sorry yeah preview material and let me connect that the geometry to the geometry base specular and normal and height and as you can see with one digital asset or with one node and one texture you have this amazing stuff you see this is the height map as you can see you can uh, adjust the value and you you can have amazing result and we have this tile option for tiling the texture and you can uh, play with the roughness of the specular and you can visualize uh, this uh, map as you can see using this visualizing mode you have normal map etc and additional for that we have amazing mask output you can generate a curvature mask uh, ambient inclusion etc this is amazing you see that and we have this quality for subdivide the geometry to have a better result as you can see nice so you can generate different map as you can see but having said that you can combine different texture too for example we have these two constant as you can see and we can combine that using the noise mask you see that amazing that's too fast and simple to use you see you can choose the noise size etc and for example you can layer them you can uh, du duplicate the paint x and instead of that you can uh, load your texture you see let's load our texture in here and for example you can mask that by ambient inclusion or tile this texture and you see we have the curvature in here and you see the curvature is depending on the sub uh, uh, subdivision or quality and as you can see we have this mask and of course we can combine this mask using this layering layering method for example i will use the multiply or overlay in here and you see we are combining the curvature and ambient occlusion you can gain this texture in here this is global option and you see so based on the reference as you can see this uh, cylinder gas we have this uh, rusty texture to it you see based on that how we can achieve that on paint x it's simple honestly you can go to the noise tab and you can choose overlay for example or multiply etc and you can have amazing rusty effect for your geometry you see and of course you have hsv uh, adjust to adjust your saturation contrast or etc and as you can see we have that in here so 
let's see another thing for example we have this dirt texture as you can see and based on the reference we have dirt on top the cylinder you see that how we can achieve that in paint x it's simple let me duplicate my node and let me connect that yeah it's annoying and you see let's connect that to this and we have this amazing directional mask let me show you in here of course before that you can assign it using this id for individual uh, part of the object and you see you can offset that and we have this amazing directional mask you see you can use that for the dirt and the dust you see that's amazing and you can add or multiply that with different masks as you can see you see amazing so what about painting a logo for example we have this amazing new node texture paint in houdini 20.5 you can uh, connect that into, into sop and convert, uh, select the stamp uh, option and you can have your logo for example just make sure you have this texture in white and black color you see that and we can create an null for the mask volume i don't know this is how this not works and we can sub import this null let's create sub import this volume and now we can convert geometry to layer this is an amazing stuff you see we have this mask and of course let me duplicate another paint x in here and let me connect that quickly okay and instead of a new texture i want to create a constant white constant for the logo and i want to use this mask you see instead a uh, uh, built-in mask so let me disable that and voila you see and you can apply uh, or combine built-in mask with this one you see you can uh, add a uh, noise to it wow amazing that's simple you see and of course you can have uh, the height you see and you can go with the minus uh, value on a material preview to have a inner inner height or displacement map and you see or you can uh, use this base output for uh, your texture you see that we have just the height in here you can combine that and you see honestly this is amazing and of course you can paint like that in soft in cups in same time so how we can export that it's easy you can use a, a null for individual texture and you can use a raw raw sorry raw output image output you can drag that in here and specify uh, the file name for example and you can save that this is simple you see this is our texture another way is let me rename that and let me control c copy that and for example in lops or karma solaris context you can use this preview surface and you can use this op expression you see op expression and control v to paste your path and voila you see that and with that i brought all the map the normal map and height map and you see this is simple to achieve wow so this is paint x 0.1 this is the first generation honestly we can add a more future to it and make it better in every version and if you interesting of course it's available on the shop section on my patreon this is lifetime investment without any licensing and blah 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 and matter of fact for this one we have a giveaway the treasure members can have that for one week as a free so if you're interesting hop on and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys have fun with our content goodbye <laughs>